So this is where we have left in the last video. So you can see we have created already one schedule that is door schedule two. Now in order to go, let's suppose before creating the window schedule, let's suppose you go to the any of the flow plan. And the situation arises where you would like to go and see your door schedule again. So a lot of people, they don't know that once the schedule is created, it is already organized and saved in the project browser. So they go on and create the door schedule once again. So how we can access the door schedule, which is already present in the project browser. So simply you can go to the project browser and then draw, scroll down <coughs> and you can, you'll find schedule quantities. And then this is the door schedule two, which we have created. So this is how you can, your schedule will get saved in the project browser. So let's go back and start creating the schedule for windows. So to start with, I can go to view and then schedule, schedule quantities. And then this time we'll select windows, click okay. And this time let's add the family and type. Then I would like to know at which level they are in, how many of them. So we'll select the count. Let's suppose you would like to know the cell height for each of the window. And there also you would like to know their type mark value. So you can select type mark and then add this also. So once done, you can click OK. And you will notice this is the total number of windows we have in Revit. So if you would like to know the totals of it, again, you can go back to sorting and grouping and then check mark on grand total. So the total number of windows we have is 24. In order to categorize them, or you can you want to do the sorting and grouping, again, you can go to edit, and then you can select family and type and use blank line, and then you can add it. Now you will see family and type will not make any change because right now here, we have only one type of window have been used. So what we can do, we can go and use levels and then click OK. So now you will see this is the number of uh, windows we have in each level. So again, we can go back and use itemize every instance and then click OK. So you can see for the level number one, we have six windows. For level number two, we have nine windows. And for level number three, we have again nine windows. In total, we have total 24 windows in this project. So this is how we can create window schedule in Revit. In the next video, we will see how we can export these schedules into some other softwares like in Excel. Thank you very much.